Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. This is going to be a quick tutorial on making a fire. Two things you want to have. Actually, three things. And I don't have any here. I got some. Sweet. Sorry about that. Hi. How you doing? And this is important. Trust me. In all my travels, especially the last two years, I've acquired a lot of wood when I was in campgrounds, especially in Washington State. I would hang out, I hung out there for two weeks. And people would show up and they would try to burn these big pieces of wood. And by the end of the night, they just got tired of trying to light it and they'd all go to bed. The next morning it'd rain or whatever and they'd leave and there'd just be all this fresh wood in the, their fire pit that I could just take and burn because they didn't know what they were doing. The thing is, when you start a fire, this is pitch. This is, you can get this in little baggies. It's, it, basically instantly starts and it burns really thick and it's kind of black smoke so it's kind of nasty but at the same time yeah this stuff will light up anything that's important you want to dig a little hole around if you're going to just have a like a ring fire i have a pit fire i'll, I'll explain that in a second but ring just if you want to have like if you have come upon a ring fire pit dig a hole because you want that hole to help airflow when you're burning your wood trust me and this is about the size that you want when you start to burn the idea of having a campfire is you want to get enough coals to where the bigger pieces begin to burn and stay burning because they're hot enough. This is like the size you want to start with. I mean, this is a piece of juniper and it's usually longer. But basically the point is, is this is about the, the, the diameter of the wood you want when you start a fire because you need to get the fire going and big chunks of wood do not burn. You have to whittle them down, which is why you buy a hatchet this thing is so awesome this was actually extended um, so it's almost like a tomahawk it used to be like a little bit shorter but I broke it when I was in Montana it was badass and yeah but it's this is pretty cool home anyway this will chop up kindling like crazy I mean you'll look like an expert get one plus I also have a maul which if you look up it's really simple it's just basically a 10 pound sledgehammer with an axe end with the blade end and it, it just goes through um, rounds like butter. Trust me, it's so heavy. You just The weight of it alone will pop up any wood, so you'll be fine. And I have one, and I use it on a regular basis. <laughs> I trip people out. I'll show up with all this wood, and I'll break up that thing and just start busting up my wood. Anyway, so this is the size you want to start your wood. You do not want to be throwing wood on a fire that's a big log. You know what I'm talking about? You get those bundles of five and six. You're going to have to whittle that stuff down unless you want to get the... Here's the thing. They say, here, buy a... A bundle of kindling for three bucks no just buy two bundles of big ones and buy yourself a hatchet and basically take two or three of the logs and you could turn those into enough kindling to start a fire and be awesome with it so yes use pitch little sticks you can buy them in any store and don't be afraid to use like cotton balls and Vaseline or whatever you want whatever trick you want to do to start a fire I actually have fire <laughs> lighter fluid it works great okay if you want to start a fire I have a I have actually another thing I was going to mention is I have a fire pit, but it's a portable and it has legs that you can take off and you can, yeah, you've seen it in videos. Basically, it's a portable fire pit so I don't leave a ring and I can basically have a fire wherever I want and then just be gone and nobody knows I was even there, right? That's important. So anyway, <clears throat> and I love burning wood. Anyways, it's part of my ritual. So yeah, learn to burn how to burn a fire. And like I said, I started out because I know how to camp and stuff. So I started out doing old school, you know, paper and you know, you know, chopping the wood really thin and fine, and then burning that for a minute, and then kind of start laying on the bigger pieces like this. Nothing bigger, anyway. But I got tired of that. I was like, man, I, you know, I know how to make a fire. I'm just gonna cheat. And so I just prop up my stuff in the morning. It's funny because I'd be around other people, and I just take out my little, you know, my little fire pit and. Just load it up with wood and then just pour some lighter fluid on it. Like within 10 minutes of being awake, I got a fire roaring. Especially when it's a freezing morning, that's awesome. Anyway, so that's it. That's my tips for the fire. Always have enough matches, of course, or, you know, lighters. And I've, I did a tutorial on lighters earlier about how they suck. And this one wasn't too bad, but yeah, it went, the other one just went through way too much fluid. And the other one that I got, the Duraflame, it doesn't light for shit. It's just never, the, the whole... The whole high and low flame, there was no high flame, it was just all low, which was shit. Anyway, so that's it. That's my little tip for campfire 
and starting a fire and like I said you need kindling you need to get a hatchet and don't try to burn big pieces of log because you're just going to give somebody else some, um, some firewood for later on anyway I love you God loves you and the universe is crazy about campfires okay, have a wonderful day okay bye